Hello my friends and welcome back to Twal Universe. So here I'm gonna try to make more detailed tutorial on how to make uh, complex builds or well detailed builds. So I'm planning to make a kit that's why this uh, is called kit. I think you saw it it popped up so I even have this kind of a hangar in here where I'm gonna build so I have um, light all the time because in the dark you know you can't see anything that's one of the things if you're making smaller builds you should uh, make this kind of uh, lit up area I tried to make a bigger one in here but that kind of failed but uh, anyway one of the tricks you can do is uh, set um, wait what did I click on uh, there we go set um, color to something with five uh, for example this one is five the first one so uh, this goes really really bright and that's really useful so I think five is the highest it goes I mean you can put any number but uh, five is the highest uh, brightness I think it goes but anyway so excess score in here and I'm gonna start by uh, putting down the um, virtual scaffolding because I have the 3D model, which I grabbed from one of those uh, printing websites, the 3D models where you can um, print stuff. And then I just um, converted it to um, OBJ file. So that's how I did it, that's where I got the model from. So we can um, set the file name in here, I already have it um, copied. Wow, that's, wow, that's large, okay, but uh, not to worry, we can't set the scale in here. I think that's so big that we have to put it like uh, 10 times smaller. Okay, it's still way too big. And if you haven't seen already, I made a DeLorean build. I'll just show you real quick. So it's gonna be basically the same process. That's my DeLorean in here. I wanna replace it with Git. That's actually version 2 already, but uh, Git is gonna be very similar, you know, similar kind of curves and stuff. I was even thinking using the, maybe the rear panel or something, uh, copying from here. Copy pasting is a good idea, but I'll show you the entire process. First thing, we need to uh, make this a lot smaller. Let's set the scale. I think it's still too big, so maybe like uh, 0 0.5. Um, Okay, I think that's still a little bit too large. I need to uh, base it off the seats. That's what I need to do. Seats are the most important part. And I also... Um, did I craft um, carbon fiber? Where is it? Should probably make it out of glossy... Uh, wait, that's, that's the wrong way around. Doesn't matter, I can just flip the core around. That's uh, no problem at all. But make sure your core is actually uh, right way. There was... <laughs> I laughed my ass off. There was someone complaining that he can't fly his ship anymore. And somehow he had the core inverted upside down. That uh, this one is the top part and this is the bottom part. But he had it upside down. I don't know how he did it. But his ship was basically laying on its, uh, you know, roof. And that's why he couldn't fly. So... You gotta make sure your um, thing is right, you know. But anyway, what I'm gonna do in here is I'll start with uh, this. Obviously, I'm not gonna show you the entire process of building it, because that's gonna take me probably like a day or two to make the entire thing, you know. But I'll just show you the basics. Um, I think I don't have a seat. Let me see if I have a seat in here. I still don't have many, uh, many parts yet, but uh, I do have a seat. And we're gonna use this one I believe for the um, passenger seat so we can um, put the seat I'm gonna just look at the um, size of the seat yeah see it's a little bit too big the kit size but I'm gonna base it off on the seats it's just a little bit though it's not too big uh, where is the seat starting I can't see properly yeah, that's exactly where the seat starts. It's actually pretty uh, good size. It's not actually that big. Yeah, it has to go a little bit smaller. So let's fix this first. Okay, I think this is the correct size. Look at that. That seat um, goes straight into that uh, hologram thing. And also one of the important things, you should turn this off. Because see, that's really confusing. I mean, for me it is. It's uh, not confusing, but it's just uh, annoying, these... Um, Outline, so I always turn this off right so the first thing to do is I'm gonna make a generic shape um, You have to like uh, consider this as like basically a block of clay That's that's how you do it. So the first thing I'm gonna do in here is uh, make the um, 
make the wheel arches and make the base. And also one of the uh, things that I didn't mention is to uh, center it. See, that's almost perfect. Yeah, it starts to go up to the door from here. So that's almost perfect. Uh, wait, uh, how many did I have? That's the question. How many blocks do I have? Let me check. Copy pasting is a really good idea, see? Uh, see, that's one block more already. See, it's not center. That's, that's bad. Or is it? I can't tell. There's a um, line in here. That line. Yeah, see, that line goes a little bit more, I think. Alright, now it's exactly in the middle. I actually found a better place. See, that's the middle line on the build. And that's the drive shaft, which is exactly in the middle now. Again, it doesn't have to be that exact, because uh, you can copy base, but I just want it to be. So, now the first thing to do is um, get rid of these custom blocks I made and make a proper uh, floor. Again, don't worry about, you know, going over and stuff. It doesn't have to be like 100% exact, but... Um, I just want to make it as exact as possible. See, that's good enough. So we're gonna make it... Uh, how wide does it have to be? Oops. Uh, one more block. Yeah, that's good enough. Then uh, rest I can just... Um, do with a precision tool. Yeah, that's good enough. Okay. Um, that's my... Uh, where is it going? Where did it go? Where is it going? I, I don't get it. Sometimes the voxels, I don't know where they are going. It has to go this way. There we go. That's what I wanted. Oh, it still went... I don't know where it went. Sometimes it just goes weird, okay? Wait, where is it now? I can't see where it goes. Sometimes it's difficult seeing these lines. Okay, there we go. That's where it has to go. There was something missing in here. We'll fix that real quick. So, um, always make the easiest shape that you can, and then I'm gonna start with the wheel arches. So let's just, um, do something in here. Uh, yeah, okay, that's good enough. And if you're wondering what the heck that is, well, um, it's this thing. We use that thing, and then we will, um, cut the wheel, uh, arch out. I think that's good enough. Yeah, that's good enough. So we're gonna do that, and there we go. Well, it didn't go exactly in the middle, but uh, that's good enough. So, and from that, I'm gonna use the vertex precision tool to um, do, for example, these edges. We're gonna move that to the left, and then we move... Uh, where is it? Where did it go? That already remembers the last position. Then we move these back. Okay, that actually has to go back a lot. I can see the edge somewhere there. But that's the idea in here. That has to go there. Yeah, it's a little bit uh, off, but uh, that's what the vertex precision tool is for. So I'm going to just fiddle around with this. I'll make the um, wheel arch proper, and then I will show you the rest of the process. And if you don't find the exact line, just use the arrow keys and the uh, page up and down by default. So you can just mess around with them like this. I don't know how well you can see from here, but see where I'm pointing the cursor or the middle thing? See that line? You can actually see the wheel arch, like this curve. So this is where I want to curve this. And again, if you can't uh, find the exact... Um, that's the wrong tool, what I'm doing. Exact uh, place, then just use the arrow keys and stuff. So we go up, left, there we go. It's very, very faint, but I think you can see it. I'm not sure exactly. That's the thing with... Um, there's, there's something in the middle. I can't find it now. Where is it? Doesn't matter. Under the right angle. It's very difficult to see, but I can see it nevertheless. But anyway, it's gonna take a long time, so I'm not gonna show you everything how I fiddle around with it. But that's the idea how you make it.
Okay, I think this looks good enough. That looks very nice. That looks pretty much on the edge. It's difficult to see these outlines because this is not a proper model. It doesn't um, show up white, so it's like this gray mass. But uh, if you, you know, angle it right, then you can see it. See, there's the fuel cap. And also these you can copy to the back too, because the back wheel arch, it looks almost the same, I think. Yeah, I think it's the same. Uh, anyway, I wanted to do this entire thing. See, this one has to go um, where it is, and then you just use the arrow keys again to do the entire thing. See, like so. You can look around, and then you... And my microphone gets in the way. And then you just do this entire thing. Actually, I didn't have to do this, because I have to copy-paste it, but um, I have my own methods. What What is it doing? Bloody hell. I think I just messed it up. No, did I? Yeah, see, ah, god damn it. I uh, pressed something wrong. Sometimes, see, <coughs> the server has lag sometimes. Server can't keep up with my, see, it doesn't go. And that starts to annoy me. I don't even know why the server has to know what I'm doing. That's, that's really annoying. See, now I messed it up. God damn it, it was, um, 12, not not 16. Now I messed it up. I have to go back. Sometimes, yeah, the server just uh, lags behind. Again, what is it? I press the button and these places just start getting on my nerves, but you just have to look at the coordinates. See, the Y has to be 12 and not 16. See, where is it? Okay, there we go. Uh, let's check the upper. Oh my god, I made everything wrong. No, upper I think has to be 16. That's what it was. Yeah, that one is 16. What is it doing? What is it doing? Bloody hell. Yeah, uh, no, it's not. It's also 12. I messed it up. Okay, anyway, you get the idea. Uh, one of the things I just don't understand about the developers... Like, I know they are, uh, it's an MMO and everything with a server has to be in sync so you can't, like, cheat and clone the parts. But if you're working on, like, a material, if you don't put any new materials down or taking it up, then what does it matter? Just let me do it on the client side. I don't need internet connection to do this part. Like, I make the changes, whatever I want, and once I'm done with it, then the changes are gonna be sent to the server and then the server knows, okay, yeah, I made these changes. It doesn't matter, I mean, if some people uh, find some kind of a way to cheat this somehow, I, I can't imagine how, they would have to make some kind of an uh, aimbot system to, like, do this automatically. I don't think that's even possible. I mean, it's probably is with some kind of, you know, um, really advanced AI system or something, but uh, I don't think anyone is going to do that in a game. So, what does it matter? I don't need internet connection to do this, but every time I try to change, like, the precision ver uh, vertex tool, then it confirms it with the server, and sometimes it just lags, and that's just annoying. Just remove that. We don't need that, people. But, okay, that's one um, nicely done wheel arch. Well, as nice as you can do it. So with the rear one, I just copy pasted that slice and then um, flipped it around. It's pretty much close enough. It's not exactly, but uh, you can again use the um, vertex tool. Here, uh, hold shift and then uh, paste it. There we go. See, it makes that curve. I don't know if you noticed this, but it made this curve into that one. If I would, uh, wouldn't hold shift, then it would make it other way around. This would go... Um, Outward. So that's very important. That's actually in the base tutorial. You need to uh, check it out if you haven't. But okay, that's pretty good. So I can uh, put maybe another layer on top. Or maybe I can just use these to uh, pull them outwards. I have to uh, figure that out. Uh, there is actually one thing I completely forgot. There is like a... I can't really see it properly. But there is this trim line going on the door. Yeah, you can see it in here. See? And that trim line, that would have to be another, um, another, like, big line, like, drawn like this over the door. And then you use the precision tool and, like, squash it together. But, um, not sure if I can put it later. It's gonna, uh, start mixing the blocks, but, uh, oh well. So, uh, same method, I'm gonna use the same method now to, um, 
sculpt out the entire you know, base you know, thing and then I will uh, show you what I come up with. Uh, the hood I'm gonna... Yeah, there goes my uh, internet but that's okay. It's just an IP change. Well, it is very very time taking process but as you can see I've been doing the um, front fender in here. Like uh, just one thing at a time. And if you look at it on the right angle, see that's the front fender that comes out a little bit. So it's uh, pretty cute already. I had to turn the um, hologram off for uh, this purpose because it just uh, gets in the way sometimes when I'm trying to make the precision moves and stuff. But see it's uh, pretty cute for now. I'm just looking under different angles, you know, where um, something is sticking out. Like that one is a little bit sticking out. It has to go a little bit in. There we go. And if I turn this back on, then see, there we go. Well, yeah, it's difficult to see. Like I said, you have to look under right angles and stuff. But see, that's the front fender that comes a little bit out. So I had to uh, double this fender. What I did is I copied this entire thing I did in the first place. See, there's two, um, two layers. There's one cube like this and then other on the side like that. I copied that entire part. I'll show you on the rear one what I did. Rear one I don't have to do it I think. Rear one I can do it one but um, I copied this entire part like so and I put it over the um, front fender like that. I just put it like that. A uh, second layer and then I started moving all the blocks in. That's why it's taking so long to do. But I think this is the hardest part actually. The rear is pretty easy. I started already making a start on it, but then I just uh, moved on to the front instead. See, there's a mistake in here already. This has to go in. And once you get like this double, um, double blocks in here that are really, really close together, like if you smoosh one of these huge blocks into a small area like, um, like this corner in here, you smush that entire block in there. Then you have to be very careful not to, you know, overlap them. For example, if you have a block in here. I'll just show you. I'll put the block. And if you start moving it. Then you have to be careful that you don't move. Uh, this block edge. Past the other one. Because if they overlap like that. Then it's going to get really confusing. Something is like sticking out and you can't figure out why it's sticking out too far. And why it's not, you know, going where you want it to go. So uh, try to prevent doing that, you know. That's going to be uh, really difficult to get rid of. You have to uh, sometimes cut the entire section out and redo it. Uh, I actually think I should make it slightly bigger so it sticks out from everywhere. And then just uh, go under. Actually I can go under anyway. It doesn't matter. It's going to be like maybe like... Um, Less than 1% smaller, so that's fine. Because it's better, see, if it, stick f it sticks through uh, from here, like this, we can go a little bit inside. I think a little bit more. One block down, maybe. Yeah, see, if um, you can see a little bit of the hologram sticking through, then you know that you're on the right track, you know. I think that's what I need to do. The front lights and all that, that's going to be a little bit of um, pain in the butt to do. I would have to copy the entire uh, front uh, nose cone. Also, I see only two lights in here. I don't know how well you can see. Yeah, here. See, one, two, but Git had three lights. There's one missing. It has like one, two, three lights. And the scanner thing, I'm not sure how I'm going to make it work. Because it's too small for the lights. See, that's the scanner part from uh, here to here. I don't know if I can uh, angle the lights a little bit so it, you know, sticks through a little bit. I think it had 8 or it had 10 of these lights, but uh, th that's the last thing to do. That's the last thing to worry about. Well, yeah, I'm gonna just, um, you know, work on it on the side, not as a primary project, you know. When I'm putting some stuff to craft and I'll come back and work on it, you know. But once I get these fenders right, I think this is the hardest part. The second hardest part is probably the front. Uh, no scone, which is gonna be um, difficult to do, but uh, I got it pretty good on DeLorean. DeLorean doesn't have all these, you know, um, smooth edges and stuff. It has more, you know, uh, cornered edges, which was easier to do, but um, I'll get there. You'll see. 
Well, I have spent now uh, over two hours on it and I have to stop working on it because even with all these lights, just look at this, I can't see anything. Like, where is this light going? Here it's a little bit light, but look, two bright lights. Wh where is this light going? There is nothing here. Look, flashlight, nothing. It literally, the background changes, but in here nothing changes. I don't know how the lighting effects are so bad in this game. I can turn the cam up, yes, but if I turn the cam up, it, it just makes it worse because now I can't see the outlines anymore. See, it's still dark, completely dark in there. So, um, camera doesn't really change either. See, it's like under certain angles you can't see anything at all. I don't know how the lighting is so bad in this game. I could change the material a little bit, but I already tried, it doesn't really help that much. It's not even the outlines, it's it's the block, see, it's completely dark, I can't see anything. Like how I'm supposed to see where the, where the you know, the, um, whatever you call them, these points are, where you can pull them. I just can't see. Like this point in here, I think this is a little bit off, but uh, yeah, I, I just can't, I'm getting frustrated with this because I can't see anything. They need to fix this shit. Otherwise, as you can see, I started doing the nose cone, and I just can't see. I know it's all jacked and messed up in here, but I just can't see what I'm doing. I just need to wait until the daytime. But it's close to, like, I think it's 12 hours, the, um, the shift in here. Because every time I play around this time, it's always fucking dark. I also sent them the recommendation or idea that they need to make a virtual uh, building environment. Like, when you do that, right, and y you put the box on, then instead of this stupid box, you will have virtual light. Like, all of these walls, they will be bright. That's what they need to do. Like, um, uh, what do you call it? Um, uh, I might actually try something real quick. Let me try. Let's see if this works. I don't have enough material for it, but let's just try. If I uh, can, I replace this one. Yeah, not enough material. See. Uh, what about this one? Yeah, man, that will no, that wouldn't work. It's even worse. Let's try to replace something from up here. I no, how big area I can replace. Yeah, that's, oh my god, that's, that does the trick, look at that, now I can see, let's try to replace from here, I don't know how much of it I have, yep, that does the trick, I need to make more uh, luminescence, look at that, now it's bright, that does the trick, see if I delete that, yep, now I know what to do, but I don't have that much of it. It's really expensive too in the market and stuff, but uh, anyway, that's for another time. I need to remake this area, but um, I will show you as I um, progress with it. Alright, so uh, new day, new progress. I have um, done some stuff in here. That was simple stuff like I showed before, but I'm gonna try to show you how to make the rear wing, the spoiler. I could probably use some elements, but I kind of want to um, make it the way it is. So I can already see how it's going to be. I'm going to put one block in here, one block in here, and then uh, another one on top, and then two on the edges, which are going to curve down. But for that, I don't want to mux it up like that, so I'm going to copy the entire back section, which is not completely done, you know. Let's get to the bumper part, so I'm going to copy this entire section from here. Why can't they aim to the top? What's going on here then? Okay, there we go. Sometimes you have to uh, aim, see? Uh, if I go up, then it selects down, because you have to look at the edge of the um, of the block, you know? So that's how we select it. Okay, so um, I think that's the entire rear end. Let's see. Copy it. Um, let's put it a little bit outwards. Also, uh, thanks to uh, Seawing, who provided me some more um, Lumin Essence, so I was able to uh, put more of them. And now I can actually work in the dark. Well, it's not dark, but uh, this Lumin Essence, it really helps. It's really amazing. It actually, you know, um, replicates the kind of, you know, real environment. 
so it's really good you know it uh, really does help I also made this trim line in here by the way see this one on the door uh, it's not exactly how I want that it um, I don't believe it has it on the back in here at least this model doesn't have it see this model is confusing me I'm not sure if it's um accurate this model but uh, see I already found something that's a little bit twisted in here uh, there is a block in here somewhere um, no doesn't matter I'm gonna do that later I just want to show you the rear wing okay uh, we have this in here I think uh, I can't even put it on top of this but let's try see the problem is that I um, okay, I have to actually undo that because I put it in the wrong place uh, it's very important uh, on this case in here to put it exactly um, same level there we go okay so one block is gonna be um, uh, there, that's fine. Uh, yeah, okay. uh, I think it's gonna mux it up. I think that's what's gonna happen. But let's try. Uh, okay, that wasn't too bad. That was fine. Again, I only need to do um, half. I don't need to do the entire size of the... Um, actually, I don't think I need that. Yeah, I don't need this one. Yeah, I don't need that one. That's fine. I only need to do one side. So... Um, we can also use shift and then the keys like that. So we're gonna do... Um, I'll put two blocks over. Okay, that's all we need. Ah, oh, it muxes it up. That's... Ah, oh, mate. That's bad. Uh, maybe I can put two blocks on top in here. Then Yeah, I need to put two blocks then. Otherwise it muxes it up again. I wish there would be an option um, to, uh, like, not to that like if you put the block then it doesn't you know pull the other you know uh, points into it I really wish there would be an option for that but yeah unfortunately I have to do it like this now which is gonna be oh uh, mate I'm not sure if that's even gonna work see these edges I don't know where these are going they don't need to go up there all the way these just have to um, go down back wherever it is let me Mate. Okay, that's uh what is it? Twenty and sixty. I have to go to sixty then. Is it really? It doesn't look like it's a sixty. What? why is that okay it is. I, I was under an angle. That's that's okay. So yeah, that has to be sixty. Okay, and then let's do the same for the rear ones. There we go. Uh, okay, maybe now I can actually do it. Let me try real quick. If I can uh, just delete that one. Yeah, it muxes it up because um, the reason for that is that you can see the space. This is still wrong. I swear this is wrong. Look, there's something wrong with this one. Oh, it goes that way. Why does it go that way? That way, like that. Okay, that's easily fixable. That's 20. That's what this 20 was. Um, no, zero. Yeah, let's put this 20. There we go. Yeah, the reason why it muxes it up is because, see, the block goes up to this point. These blocks in here are already uh, squashed together. So, um, where I'm putting this one, then this one is right next to that one, and that's why it uh, pulls it together like that. I still wish there would be an option that doesn't change that. Actually, I think I could do that. Um, let me try just for a second. If I will do that and then do that, maybe I can overwrite that change. I don't think I can, but let me try. Yeah, it doesn't work because... Um, okay, not, not a problem. Not a problem. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, what I need to do in here is these two blocks. They are the separators. Okay, that one um, goes to that side. It doesn't have to be that exact. I can um, do it uh, more precisely later once I put it on the spoiler. So um, that's where the point is. Okay. Um, wait, where's... There should be one more... Um, where is that voxel then? Look, there's a... Uh, one is missing. Really? I swear something is missing. 
One block, there should be one line in here. Where is that then? Okay, whatever. If there isn't, then that's fine. That's fine with me. Uh, how much was it? I forgot. No, that's fine. Yeah, that's actually exact. So, um, also that one. Okay, so that's this one. But, now we need to really twist that spoiler down a lot. And that's, um, what I'm not so certain about if it's possible. That should be possible. Let's go, um, go to this point, I will say. No, it's a little bit lower, I think. I can't see. Uh, again, uh, like I said, it doesn't have to be that exact. Uh, let's go a little bit lower. Let's put it there somewhere. Why is it so out? What is that? Oh, yeah, never mind. Sorry, that's my bad. My bad. Okay, that's gonna be difficult in here because we want that one. Uh, some bloody nuts. Tries to mirror it. Okay, that should be fine. Okay, so we go back up in here. Uh, mate, where is it going? Okay, that point has to go down and then uh, up to that point. No, that's... I don't know what the heck that was now. It mirrors the bloody things. Yeah, why is that in there? Okay, never mind. The entire edge has to come down, which is um, what I'm doing in here. Wait. Um, to up to what level? Um... 64, okay, um, I don't know where it tries to go sometimes, I just don't get it. No, that's not 64, that's, uh, there is, uh, one, one block is somewhere missing, I don't know where it went, it, uh, disappeared somewhere. And I'm doing it slow because my microphone is in the way, I usually use my left hand, but, um, my microphone is exactly over the keyboard, so I can't put my left hand on the arrow keys right now, which is bad, but, uh, okay, whatever. Right, so now what we need to do is uh, make the same change for the other side, which is that. That actually works, let's see. I need to see what I'm doing, though. <sighs> Bloody hell. What is this, then? Go! Sometimes it's granny speed! Go! Okay, uh, that's fine. So we brought all this down. I think you can already see what I'm doing in here. I also need to put them in now. Um, inwards, that was 20, I believe. Um, I should have done that in one go, but I don't always notice things. See, <sighs> I'm getting frustrated because this microphone is in my way. I can't... Um, bloody hell. If I'm doing it off the video, I, I'm doing it so efficiently. I just go over, click, 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 and it's all done. Okay, so now what we need to do is uh, bring that top completely down. I just hope it's possible to bring it that much down. Otherwise I have to... Bloody hell! Yeah, I think I can't do it like this. I need to redo that. Let me try now. If it's possible to uh, move it even further. Yeah, I can't move it any further. That's already as uh, low as it is, so... Uh, I need to redo that, but you get the idea in here. I have to, um... Put another line of blocks in here, and then, um... Redo that, and then copy-paste it on top of that, and hopefully that's gonna fix it. Alright, so, that's how I got it done, but I'm sorry, I just can't add commentary, because I have to calculate this in my head. So, uh, I just think in my head, like, I take the shape, and then I rotate it in my head, like from every angle, and then I just uh, think of ways how to do that, and then I just um, make it come true, you know. The problem in here was that um, I was trying to take the, um, the, you know, the whatever you call these points, and pull them down from too far up. But instead what I did, uh, if you look at this shape, you can see there's two blocks, but actually that's not. Let's delete one of these and look what happened, see? So, um, I started going from, um, down instead. Uh, this is what I did in here, that's like the starting block. And if I delete that block from here, see that what happens? It's just one block, it's not actually two blocks. And if I delete that one, see that deletes the red one. So yeah, I know it's a little bit confusing. But if I show you what I did in here, I'll show you the edges. Uh, whoops. Uh, where is it going? 
Uh, see, that's uh, one block. This entire thing is one block. That's the bottom part, and that's the top part. So if I grab it from here, and then I go up like this. Look at the coordinates in this one. It's uh, plus 92 already. And this would be the highest it can go, because that's the bottom of the block, so it goes over another block. Uh, and if I go th with this, um, I don't even know where I could go with this. I need to probably do this again in there, but I'm just showing you that this is actually not um, two blocks, it's just one block. And let's try what happens if I put another one, see? It's gonna merge that into it. So that's what I had to do, I had to squash it together from both sides rather than from one side and then I had to delete the entire bumper, see, that's the original one, I just made a copy of it. So on this one, uh, basically uh, I'm trying to explain what the difference is, is that the, um, the red light, the back light, on this one it is where it is, if I delete one block that's where it is, but if I delete on this one, look what happens, oh come on, that went in there, I don't know where it twitched. See, that's what happens. Uh, yeah, I know you don't probably understand it, but uh, the difference is that um, the red blocks on this one are actually uh, here, where I just deleted that one. They are below in there and then I used um, precision tool to uh, bring them up and instead of this entire um, red area in here like this I have a uh, black block boxes in instead and these black ones are this line what you see in here so I pulled these red ones from uh, beneath up to this point and then um, this one is a black line, like so, and that black one, uh, this one doesn't exist on that one. So um, I use this one to pull this all the way up here to this point, and then the top one I pulled up to this point. So I hope this makes sense. I don't still want to um, get rid of this one. I might need this one because this one is a mess in here at the bottom. See, this is a one block in here and that's a big problem for me. I need to figure something out. I need to put another line maybe further because look, if I put a block in here, see that's what it does and that's um... Or maybe it's not actually that bad. I could move that line back up and then I will have another block in there. Yeah, that's, that's okay I guess. But yeah, see, that's what I had to go through but um... Uh, let me turn this off. Sometimes it uh, gets in the way. But I think it's pretty accurate, see the rear spoiler. I have to just go over the corners a little bit because it is more like a boomerang from here. And also it comes out from the middle, I believe. It's like a kind of, um, uh, goes, um, like this. Then it goes out from there and goes back in. So I have to, um, mess around with it, but that's easy fix. Unfortunately, I don't think I can fix these. See, these things should go in, but I can't move them in because they will move the entire section from here. I mean, there are limits what you can do. You can't go too small with, uh, you know, the things. Because like I showed you, like this block in here. You can't pull the um, blocks, you know, too much in. You can go over one block, but that's about it. So I think this is the smallest stuff you can do in the game. And honestly, you don't really need smaller ones. But, uh, but yeah, that's the hardest part is done. I do have the spoiler. What, what the heck? What is that? That's, that goes, that should go up a little bit, isn't it? Look, that's twisted again. I don't know what's going on here. I can't move from uh, small distances, but uh, let me see. How much is that? 36, 35? Yeah, wait. No, that's, that's fine. What's the difference then? Looks like it's, uh, whatever. I'm gonna just go over it. That's gonna take uh, probably an hour or so. And then this corner in here, I have to, um, go over that a little bit but yeah that if you look at the area how small it is you probably go like I'm not gonna mess with it right now I just wanted to explain uh, how I did this and why I didn't do it in a video uh, that's just part of it because I haven't done anything in the front that the front scanner part that's gonna be um, as difficult as that one and then also the lights in here I have to do three blocks in here I have to uh, squash three blocks right in here See, in this area I need to squash three blocks. 
Right, so here is uh, more or less the end result in here. Still not quite happy. See, there is like, uh, I don't know what the heck that is. See, I already um, found something. See, that corner, it should go a little bit in and below because that's like the... Uh, not sure what's going on now, what I did in here. That should go in, I believe, a little bit. Whoops left and then um, this one even more here and in at this point it's just easier to um, not use the um, hologram thing because it's uh, just getting in the way I think that's the corner I want to change yeah that is the corner I'm looking for see let's put it yeah that looks a lot better that um, thing on the top it can go also like this a little bit uh, okay so um, sometimes it like reflects see like this part in here I looked at a couple of times but it's actually fine maybe not this corner in here I don't remember from the head if that corner um, I think it should go in like this a little bit I think that's smooth corner on the bumper in there see and that that made another one slide out again I mean, it's slide out, but, uh... But anyway, that was the hardest part in here. I, I don't know, I don't like this corner in here. I don't think I can use the smooth tool in here, it's too big. Let's try, just one time. Yeah, yeah, no, that, don't use that. <laughs> that only works on bigger areas, you know, it doesn't work on smaller areas. Anyway, it is pretty close to what, um, kit looks like from the rear, so, um pretty happy with this just have to um, keep adjusting you know when whenever you find something uh, I don't know what's going on here I can't even select that corner what's that see where is that going what what's in here then see that oh my god yeah that okay I got it And then maybe this block a little bit in. Okay, that's fine. So, uh, that's the rear end. I copied it onto the other side. Now I need to recopy it because I made some changes. So make sure you select everything. Uh, with these complex shapes, it's even difficult selecting them because they just go all over the place. You know, make sure you get the entire area. And again, um, some people have issues with rotating, you know, you just press R like this. You put it on the top of the build and then press R. Because look, if you um, point here and press R, look where it goes. See, it goes upside down. Uh, wait. Fucking hell, I'm stuck on that thing. Yeah, see, this way, it flips it upside down. Now the spoiler is at the bottom, see? The spoiler part. This is why you need to aim from above and then press R and then it mirrors it. It depends. And if you aim from this side, then it turns it this way. See? So that, that matters uh, where you aim with it. And then you just put it in. Whoops. Uh, what did I do? I flipped it twice. And then you just use the um, arrow keys, page up and down. And you just put it in a place. And again, very important, hold shift and then left click. There you go. And even then, sometimes it doesn't do the entire thing. I already found a problem with the spoiler in here. I don't know how I didn't see it. Uh, this has to come down. Let's uh, take one block and then do three. I'll remember that one. I'll do this. Uh, one and then one, two, three. There we go. That looks a lot better, doesn't it? That actually could go, oh yeah, that could go even more in. So one, no, wait. One, two, let's put like this. Let's see. Well, I mixed it, mixed something up now. What What did I do wrong? Oh, that one is now out. Ah, bloody hell. Yeah, I have to copy paste again. No, I, no, 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 I made it worse. Stop it, stop it. That change was unnecessary. How, how did I do this even? Wait, what did I do in here? 
I can't see what I did now. Yeah, that one was good. That change was good, I think. See, it depends with what angle you look look at it under. See, yeah, no, that's no, that's wrong. I uh, made it worse in here. I need to fix that. But okay, it's getting too long anyway. I'll just uh, show you the front part once I get to it. That's gonna be. Um, pretty much the end of it once I get the front right then uh, oh yeah the mirrors are bloody hell I need to do the mirrors that's probably like three blocks like two like where is it going oh mate two like this and and I think one like this I think that's gonna be the mirror <laughs> obviously I'm not gonna do it like that but uh, you get the idea you have to uh, do the same thing you know probably copy the entire corner Alright, this nose cone is um, quite the brain cracker in here and I'm still not happy with it. See like some sharp corners in here, I don't like this one in here. But well, this is the best I can do. If you look from the side, it's um, not the best but they do step up like they should be and I think this corner should come out more. I think this nose cone is a little bit too um, sharp. Let's put the hologram on. It's, it's just... Um, getting in my way right now the hologram yeah see them yeah this should be out more yeah that it, it should be out more so I'll try to bring this out a little bit and then smooth over and then that should be it but uh, that's the best I was able to do and I did the same thing like I um, showed before that I made um, huge block I put three um, of these lumin essence and then uh, between each I put um, uh, I'll just show you. This this was really complicated. It took me hours to do just one uh, bloody thing. It's like um, I should just copy paste. But mate, how did I do that? What? <laughs> what is going on? Sometimes it just bounces around. It it just goes where you don't want it to go. Yeah, this is really complex thing and it's uh, just mixing it up from every angle, so, okay. Uh, that's the basic shape that I did. And then I just shaped it. And there is also one, um, I'll just get rid of that, you get the idea, I hope. There is also one voxel that is like really, really far out that I had to, um... So if I go left from here, see, see where it is, look where the box is the green box see and okay now you can see uh, that's where it actually is see it should be like there look how far I can go with it on the other side if I would uh, do that see that's where, <laughs> where the voxel is and then it just squished into it and unfortunately that makes um, corners stick through a little bit I don't know if you can see that yeah, see this corner, uh, it's so difficult to show, this corner piece in here, uh, it just doesn't go in anymore, but uh, mm, uh, it's okay, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna fiddle with it a little bit more, but that was the hardest part. And I don't like this in here either, this front end, it's a little bit smushed up, but um, then all I need to do is put the kit scanner in here. I do want to make it move, but... Um, I'm not sure, I might just do it like um, like red, like the rear uh, tail lights. You can see it on my peak ship, see that one, how I did it in there. I might also do something like this, but I don't know. So this, this is one of the things that I'm not sure about. And also these luminescents, uh, I'll show you how well they really work, look how dark it is. But there is some kind of a glitch, like, uh, look now, look at the distance, how uh, dark it is, right? It's already affecting me. Look in there, see? How dark it is. And if I go um, backwards into the light, look at that. It lights up the entire area, even though there is no lights. And that's what's going on in here. Like, if you look at the trees behind, see how dark it is? I'm going completely out of the light, and if I go back into the light, see? All the trees at the distance uh, also light up. Wait, I'm stuck now on the wall. See? So it, it's really weird. See, it looks like it's daytime now outside. 
and that's why these lights work so well. Alright, so I uh, fixed this side. It looks a lot better now, I think. Still not happy with this in here. I don't know if that should go up like this. Is that better? Whoops. Yeah, I think that's better. That looks better, does it? Okay, but this side is now the fixed version that I did. Maybe I could... Uh, nah, it's fine. I just keep finding... Uh, see, there's... Uh, what is that? I can't do anything about that. Where did it go? Nah, it looks fine. It's fine. <laughs> Uh, it's just a light, oh my god, it was light. But yeah, look at this one now, the difference between that. This is the fixed one that has a better angle, and that one has the worst angle. Uh, I'm just trying to uh, turn the way that you see. It's difficult to see probably, but yeah, see, the lights are all uh, sticking out, and this one is a lot better. So, um, let's just copy this entire section over. Need to get that nose cone, because I... Yeah, there we go. Uh, that's okay. Copy. Yeah, look at the way the lights are going, but that's fine. And we just do that, and it goes into place. Wait, what's that in here? Ah, you bloody sack of... Um, that's, that's the one that is outside the box, see? Yeah, that's where it is. So this one, I'll just move away. Because that's the best I can do with it. <laughs> okay, right. I am done with the nose cone. I'm not going to spend another like three hours on this one. No way. It, it it looks fine. It looks fine. Okay. It looks cool. Look at that. Is that center of mass? Oh yeah, it's because of that. I have no elements on it yet, apart from uh, that piece in there. Uh, so yeah, the scanner, I, I think I'm gonna just do it as the red thing, but well, um, I can actually show you, wait, where was it? That's the, okay, it was here. Can't even copy it from here, can I? Let's delete this one, let's see, um. Yep, that's where the scanner is, so I'm gonna have to, uh, squish something in there too. <laughs> squish. <laughs> Okay, um, that's gonna be another uh, copy-pasting in here, like so. Just take this entire area and then uh, figure something out, you know. I have to make another layer on the top. That's not too bad, actually. I think that's easy. I can just do that, I think. Yeah, I can just do that and then squish it in there. Look, why did it do that? I don't get it. Sometimes I don't get it. Look, it's identical from both sides and this goes down there. Why? Makes no sense to me. Oh, okay, whatever. You get the idea. Well, looks good to me. Not very happy with these angles in here, but that's the best I was able to do. Uh, the problem is that the blocks are gonna be too close to the um, lights in here and it starts uh, muxing these up, you know, with that, so, um, yeah. But that was quite easy, actually. So I just put two blocks in here, in the middle in there, uh, under the um, top layer in there, and then I just um, put it in place, as you can see. Uh, one of the blocks in here, see, that one I had to uh, take from all the way here, but other than that, it was pretty easy. Might actually uh, pull these even more, like all the way to the uh, front. Nah, I'll leave it as it is. I'm not gonna start uh, mixing it. I can just see like a top layer in here. I can try. I don't think it even goes that far. Let's see. Yeah, it doesn't even go that far. So that's fine. That's fine. It looks okay. I'm not gonna do it, you know, moving because it's just too small area. Yeah, I think I didn't forget anything. I need to do a little bit work on the back. But this is like, you know, just, um, I don't know what's up with the pumper. Like, look at the hologram. Look, what is that? It, like, pumps out. <laughs> pumper pumps out. It's, it's, you know, it's, it's not correct. I don't know what's happening in there. But, yeah, I'm gonna put the hovers on, put some wings on. 
I was also thinking about doing the super pursuit mode, so I might like uh, modify it later, but I'm not sure about that. I'm gonna try to hide the elements wherever I can, you know, the uh, best as I can. But the thing is, I'm gonna have to put two small engines on it, and I believe they go where the rear uh, windshield is gonna be, so not much I can do about that. Uh, I don't know about the elements yet. Uh, what I put where, but uh, that is the hardest part, and that's what I wanted to show you. The rest I'm gonna show you once the kit is done. This was uh, just a video about how to uh, do the precision stuff, you know, and I think this has come out exactly the way I wanted. Well, not exactly 100%, but come on, look at that, it's kit. See, I'm already uh, noticing things again. Like, look, what's up with that? Why is that so far out? And why is that so far in? What is that? Uh, I think I did four. I need to do that same. I don't want to copy paste that one. There we go. Uh, I was looking at that one. Look, why is that one so far out? What's up with that then? That needs to go in even more. Look, this is, this edge is jagged. I don't know how I did that. <laughs> I so drunk did that. What is that? Look, my camera is also drunk, and what is that? Look, it's, it's... I think that was the smooth tool I was using. What's going on? <laughs> yeah, look at that one. That's also all mixed up in there. Where is that going? And what's that then? I need to copy-paste that now. I don't know what's happened in here. See, look, what, what's that? What is that? There is... I don't get it. Why is there two of them uh, inside of each other? And what's that? Why is that so far up? This needs to go down. This needs to go down and in. There we go. That's happy now. See? That's, that's a lot better. And then this place in here, that's too far out. Let's put it... Oh, what? There's another one. Yeah, some of the um, voxels are just in a wrong place at the wrong time. See, it, this one is still sticking out too much. I don't like that. It's like this jagged edges, man. And there is an... F f crying out loud. <laughs> but okay, well, I can mess around with it uh, forever in here. But the main thing is that if you do that, look at that. Oh, mate! What is... Th what did it do in here? Look. What... What is that? Oh, mate. Why? Why... Why do you do that? I don't get it. This is the thing that absolutely, um... Murders me with this. Where is that? I can't even see. Where is it? No, that... That's just gonna make it worse. Yeah, I think that one, look, that's, that's... Freaking wrong button. Yeah, it's like, um... If you exit the build mode, that's where it's just... Look, what is it doing? Why? Is there another one underneath or something? I don't get it. I don't know what it wants. Okay, that's better. That's a lot better. I might try to use the smooth tool on it. Let's try once. Just once. And let's see if it made it worse. No, that actually made it really good. Yeah. And then I'm gonna use that one and just raise that up a little bit to make it uh, look even. Yeah, that's that's a lot better. I actually wanna bury this this one from here completely, but I don't know if I can. See, I don't know where there's like one block is missing in there, I think. I would need more um voxels in there. I think that one mirrored it. Yeah, that's that's fine. Let's see if it mixes it up if I uh, exit the build mode. No, that's good. That's okay. 
Yeah, that's just the uh, air filter thing. Because after all, this is um, my version of uh, kit. Okay, well, there is uh, places where I just want to, you know, uh, still uh, make it better, but uh, that's it for this time. I think it's been long enough, and I think you got the idea how to do these precision builds, you know, small precision builds. So, um, I'm gonna make another video once it's ready, so stay tuned and hope to see you next time.